Hi, I'm Philippe Costa. I'm here with my good friend Caio Terra. We have been discussing a lot about how we manage to develop our own games. I think after you reach a certain level of Jiu Jitsu and you feel like you have to really research and look for other people's style to see what you can get it, what you can get from it. And even though we are black belts now, it doesn't mean the learning process it stops. And I think the same methods that we use to improve our own games, it can be applied to lower belts, especially if they are located in places where they don't have other black belts to learn from, where they're just learning from uh, training with each other. So I was curious to see how that works for you, Kai. How, how you see, because I see you all the time very up to date to the new techniques, you're inventing things all the time. You know, I still think that training at the gym uh, is the most important, but the reason I, I go online, you know, the reason I search for new content is not just because I want to get better faster, but mostly because, uh, you know, I want, like, one, I want new ideas, you know, but the biggest reason is I want, like, some type of motivation. So you're saying that sometimes you look for this new style or new technique? to try to incorporate to your own so you don't get bored a little bit. Like Be, if you because, want. Yeah, because like I want to like uh, feel that, you know what, I want to come to class because I want to try this. Ah, okay. And how long does it take for you? Because for me, for example, when I see a technique and I try it once, I almost right away I can tell that fits my game or that doesn't fit my game with my experience. You know, sometimes I'm not being able to play some type of sweep or pass and I might wonder like, you know, it's because I can't do this or that. But later on, I started finding that the reason that I wasn't being able to play those techniques is because I, weren't, I, I wasn't good at this, this start. You know, for example, of course this is a general example. Mm -hmm. If I was trying to do a, a De La Riva sweep at first, you know, and I didn't know how to play De La Riva, it would never work. Of course, the concept. Comes you know, first. so it might not work because I cannot play the guard yet. You know, mm -hmm. so what I'm trying to do is always to get better at everything. You know, like in in general, and then applying those new techniques. You know, mm -hmm. because if I try to use a new technique that I seen and I'm not being able, then I go and say that's what I need to work. Do you watch any videos like on the internet, you know, like technique videos, competition? Yes, I do watch, but I'm very selective on, on what I watch. You know, people put too, too many things, you know, when you don't have a lead, when it's just random techniques that a website post or a channel on YouTube. So I'm very selective on, on the stuff that I see online. Well, now I have, I can decide, okay, this is good, this is not good, because I already have some experience. But I think the lower belts, and there is nothing that makes a black belt more angry than getting a student in class and say, oh, yes. can you show that you too? <laughs> right? Everybody yeah. gets this. It's really annoying. It's a great channel, you know, it's a great opportunity for you to have information. But if you don't have a lead, it's, it's not going to help you, you know? And as a black belt or a higher belt, you can, you can separate what's good from what's not. But as a lower belt, sometimes not. That's why I think people need this lead. You know, today, it's so much easier to learn Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. You know, before it was so hard, you know, I would, I would have to always be asking questions, you know, to all my friends. You know, there was some stuff on YouTube, but there wasn't that many, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jiu-Jitsu was, was also not evolved as it is mm -hmm. today, but the DVDs and online trainings help so much more and than any other source, you know? So it's so much easier to, to learn. Also because the DVDs are, you know, from the past, the DVDs from today are much better organized, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and so is the online training. So I think that someone that is new, that is starting now on Jiu-Jitsu, they have a lot more to learn because Jiu-Jitsu has evolved so much, but it's so much easier to learn as well. A lot of the online training is teaching you techniques 
but they are not teaching you how to think jujitsu. You mm -hmm. know, and the most and important. And when to do what? And... Yeah, like the most important is is for a beginner or for an instructor to learn. You know how how you think jujitsu because that's what they want to capture from from you. You know your ideas. You know not just your technique because technique they can get from anyone. Exactly. That YouTube is there for that. That's yes. what I think. If you only just want to see technique or fancy technique, YouTube got you covered. I think the the difference on those online trainings and a lot of people um, say bad things about it, but I think you have to see the good aspect when you. Sign for somebody, you, you're following that style. The way I see, for example, I like to, to give a comparison, you're gonna understand what I mean. For example, I like to read a lot of books and I love to read biography because I think it's amazing that somebody who has passed through whatever it was, you know, an alpinist who goes to Everest and almost died and come back, he can come back and write about his experience. And I can live his life a little bit through his experience without being in the danger of going there <laughs> and you know pass through this. But I can feel you know his pain and everything. I think it's amazing. So the guy lived his, his entire life or a big part of his life to make a, you know to give to me like this was my experience. I think on the online train what I try is this. That's what we're saying. You know that's what I what I had in mind with the online train. You know? So in my side. I have a lot of techniques that I have recorded that are not like my main game, you know? Mm -hmm. I know that I can teach because my students were successful doing those techniques. So I still record and put it up there. But do you just record what you do or...? Well, I think a good teacher, and that's what I try to be, he has to be able to, like you said, give all the tools to, to the students. But I do give preference to the stuff that I am comfortable with. I have my preference, I try to teach wide so everybody can get a good understanding. But of course, when I teach the stuff that I'm more familiar with, I feel also comfortable with somebody, somebody writing me a question asking, oh, why did you do this? Because then I know how to do it. If I see you teaching something and I just try to copy you and somebody asks, oh, why did you do this? I don't know because I'm just copying you. Look, for example, you, you were one of my guests in my website, and you show some guillotine that you're great doing it, and I don't, I don't know those details. So, you know, it's also important, just like in the academy, you try to learn from people who are better than you, that I get this information from somebody who does something that it's unfamiliar to to my game. You know. I believe that a mistake that a lot of people have been doing in America is that they are stopping training at their gym. You know, they, they stop training at their gym, they use the online training as their instructor and train at home with, with friends, you know. Uh, it's very important for you to have as many body types as possible, but most important is to have someone guide you. Mm -hmm. Online training cannot guide you. Online training can give you ideas, can make your game better, you know, and maybe can even have some things that your instructor cannot teach you, but it's still better to have someone guide you, you know, because... It's a tool to help. Yes, it's, it's a person, you know, it's like, it's like a mother, you know, you need a physical person there with you, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I agree with what you're saying. I think a lot of people are using the online training just to get everything they can from it. And I think that that's not the best way to learn from it. You know, in, in my page, there is a structure the same way your order is, and you kind of have to follow the lead. It's similar to what the, the school has to offer you, the actual gym has, has to offer. When you have a, a black belt or a higher belt, uh, that can lead you in a certain direction, you know. The, the website, the online training, it's a tool to help you. Like you said, nothing's gonna be better than the actual gym where you're gonna have different body types and all this. But I think using that tool, it's gonna be able to make you even improve faster. So I think the online training you have to do similar to the academy. You have to work one, two techniques every four days, you know, something like this. And not see 20 techniques, 
that you you get familiar with, but you're not able to apply in, in your training. That's useless, you know. In my side, I have like the lesson plans, you know. In the in the lesson plans, I like to write a little bit about it, you know, to kind of give an idea uh, to the person what you know what you're going to try to study. Uh, I think that a problem that people that people do is like they see one technique and they skip to the number two. But most of the times, the technique number one, even if it's not as efficient, it's very important for the technique number two to work. And that's why it has in this sequence. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's very important that they that yeah, actually follow the sequence to, to get a good understanding. Of, exactly, of yes. The... You know, we have uh, computers, you know, laptops, uh, smartphones, you know, it's so easy to bring one with you to training and see what you're making the mistakes because what I like to do is to, you know, when I'm trying a technique is to break down the technique, you know, so I start trying to do just the first part, you know, and seeing this, if the first part of the technique is working and then I go to the next part and then I go to the end part, you know, instead of going and doing a whole technique because you're gonna miss a lot of details. Yeah, I think that's the uh, same kind of stuff that happens uh, with some of our users. My website is a structure with course which is similar to your lesson plan. They enter a certain course that they are interested about learning, let's say perhaps taking the back, and I make a whole progression or and I break down you know what they should master before they go to the next one that looks a little bit uh, more modern or fancy and they just keep to the last one so they're missing information from the beginning this is a good example taking the back it's one of the first course that i uploaded there and once they don't understand how they are doing the the, the basic they won't be able to apply the last one a very simple example and maybe i can show it to you uh, to take the back that I have been doing a lot in tournaments. When I first started, uh, I would do this from turtle position. You know, I would get the guy from the turtle and put my knee first, bring very basic and put the hook. Once I did this technique, I realized that if I could do that from the, from the top when the person was on the turtle position, I should probably be able to do it when I was on bottom, when uh, he had his back on the ground. And so it's a, uh, something that, as I said before, it took me a long time to realize and I'm breaking into to steps. On this course, for example, I even give days that people can do. You should train just this on the first day, second, third. So some of the course I structure like this, so they have to follow this. It's gonna be useless if they wanna start on day three or the third part of the technique. So I think it, it, you're seeing on your website similar mistakes that I see on mine. And I think because there is a boom of online training now, but a lot of people don't know how to use it yet. So I think it's important that we tell them how to, to go on, on each technique. Yeah, I think that sometimes uh, they might not be using it right, but it still might work because anything is better than nothing. The motiv motivation part of it, I think, is the most important. You know, you you wanting to train the next day. You know, you wanting to do something that you love the next day without losing that love. You know, I think that's that's the most important. Thank you very much for watching our opinions about the online training. I think it's something new but came to stay. It's a very important tool to help people develop their game. Like you said, online training is kind of new, but you know, it's, it's not something revolutionary because it already existed. I believe that my goal through Jiu Jitsu, through online, is to try to reach as many people as possible, you know, just like I was trying to do with seminars. You know, I don't want to stop, you know, uh, giving what Jiu Jitsu gave to me. I want to keep spreading my Jiu Jitsu. Awesome and my philosophy and I think that online training is the way to go, it's the future. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure to check out the other videos from this episode. BJJ Hacks TV. Subscribe now for free jiu-jitsu videos.